All right, Cam, we'll see you then. Right now, there are more than 90 active wildfires burning in Canada. That means here in Wisconsin, we'll once again, uh, once again see poor air quality. Yeah, here's a look at the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources air quality map. There are only a few counties with moderately unhealthy conditions in southern Wisconsin, but you can see some northern counties marked as red, meaning air quality there is unhealthy for everyone. We saw these same air quality concerns last summer. This is what it looked like last year when more Canadian wildfires left the sky hazy and made it unhealthy to go outside for prolonged periods. Thanks to today's conditions, the state DNR issued an air quality alert for several counties. 27 storm track meteorologist Alexis Clemens has you covered on what that means and why it may become more common. Last summer in much of North America was defined by wildfire smoke and poor air quality and yesterday the first air quality alert of the year was issued. Wildfires in the Canadian provinces of British Columbia and Alberta have wafted smoke well into the atmosphere. The jet stream has helped that smoke travel above our heads here in southern Wisconsin. Now an air quality alert can be issued when it reaches the unhealthy category, usually when the air quality index gets close to the triple digits. On average, over the last 10 years or so, about five AQAs were issued per year, of course, some years being worse than others. 2023 saw 15 air quality alerts issued, with some spanning several days. One of the largest ones was an AQA that lasted from June 19th to midday on June 22nd. Last year also marked the return of PM 2.5 air quality advisories, which before 2023 hadn't been issued since the spring of 2011. So what does that mean for 2024? Well, my thinking is that we could see similar conditions to what we dealt with last year. Increased fire risks occur when conditions are warm, breezy and dry, and these are weather conditions that a lot of North America is seeing in more abundance so far this century. Climate change is likely a contributing factor to this, and as long as these conditions continue, more air quality alerts will be in the foreseeable future. For 27 Storm Track Weather, I am meteorologist Alexis Clemens.